Hi, it's 71 Depeche Mode, and I'm back with a couple of Blu-ray reviews, just a couple of films that I've just watched recently. Just thought I'd do a quick video and just tell you what I thought of them, and picture quality, audio quality, everything else. Um, Hostel Part 2. Not a lot of people like Hostel Part 2, reading reviews on Play.com, Amazon, etc., but I actually quite liked it. I thought it was actually in some places better than the first one. And the HD quality on this one was better than the first movie as well. Um, so overall, yeah, I was very, very pleased with this one. Um, it goes a lot more into the uh, the story of the actual elite hunting club in this in this movie. If you're uh, for those of you who are fans of these type of movies, will obviously know what I'm on about. But um, yeah, I thought it was a really really good movie. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, There's plenty of gory moments in this, and yeah, I was really quite pleased with it. I picked this up quite cheap. I got a really good price on this movie. Um, if you look around, it's going out there for, for quite a good price now. Um, yeah, definitely worth a pick-up. So there you are. That's Hostel Part 2 on Blu-ray. Okay, next up, I've got Mel Gibson, Edge of Darkness. Now, this is obviously, uh, you know, Mel Gibson's combat movie. Um, I, I've got to gotta be honest. What starts off as a really, really good sort of opening to this film um, it sort of started to really lack in the middle and um, it could have been so much better um, I don't know I'm, I'm in two minds about this one I think it's probably um, I think it's probably going to have to have a you know a second viewing um, soon um, but there was I don't know it, it started picking up obviously you know quite sort of towards the end and then just suddenly ended but um you know, it, it was quite uh, it was quite a good opening to the movie, and I thought, wow, this is going to be this is going to be really good because obviously I've heard some really good stuff about this, but I don't know, it sort of dipped a bit, and it was like, oh come on, get on with it, you know. But um, I mean, on the whole, it was okay. The HD quality was absolutely spot on; it was perfect. Um, audio was excellent, and sorry, I'll go back to Hostel Part Two. There, audio was also very good on Hostel Part Two. Sorry, my apologies there. I not mentioning that. Um, but yeah, it was. Um, it was okay. It was nothing. It was nothing like, wow, great, you know. It was just an okay movie. But um, mm, shame. Could it could have been better? They could have done a whole lot more. But on the whole, it was okay. I mean, I picked this up quite cheap, so I wouldn't have. I'd have been a bit annoyed. I think if I'd have paid like a full whack, if like when it first came out onto uh, onto Blu-ray. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's worth. Uh, it's definitely worth a rental. I mean, if you see it quite cheap out there as well, which I, you know, like I saw mine and it pays to shop around. Um, yeah, pick it up. But there you go. Mel Gibson, Edge of Darkness. And Hostel Part 2. Yeah, definitely recommend Hostel Part 2. I can recommend Edge of Darkness, perhaps on a rental. Um, but there you are. I will be back again very soon. I've got some more Blu-ray updates coming in, some more Blu-ray reviews. So, again, thank you very much for watching. For you watching the videos, my many thanks to you. Please subscribe. It would mean a hell of a lot to me if you were to subscribe. Thank you ever so much. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.